What's up? Hey guys, what's up? It's Liz and today I'm gonna be doing another makeup tutorial for you guys. I'm gonna be showing you my makeup for Halloween. If you guys haven't seen my Instagram posts or my Twitter posts, I am gonna be a mermaid. Um, I've posted my makeup a few times. I just thought I should show you guys how I did it. Well, there's a lot of steps, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. I love doing it. This is like my fourth time practicing this makeup. I plan to look super good on Halloween. And I have parts of my costume, so I will show you them. I'm not gonna put them on for you because I just don't have the full look ready. As you guys can probably tell, I already have foundation on. I just used my Maybelline Fit Me. Oh, let me check. It's my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade Classic Ivory, cause I'm white as hell. And then I put concealer under my eyes. It's my Urban Decay Naked, oh my God, Urban Decay Naked Concealer, the complete coverage thing in the shade Fair. It's really light. So I put that on, set my face with some setting powder, and now I'm gonna do my eyes. So to do my eyeshadow, I have two different eye palettes I use. I have this Revolution, Makeup Revolution London Ultra Eyeshadows. It's 32 eyeshadows. I got it for $15. It was a really nice deal. Um, so I have, I just use these greens, blues, and maybe a little bit of the purples later on. But for my eyes, I'm gonna stick with the greens. Then I also have this really cheap, like $10 palette maybe, for really cheap eyeshadows. But I like it because it has tons of greens and they actually show up pretty, pretty well. I probably won't tell you every single time I switch from what palette to the next one because I'm just going to be switching back and forth between them a lot. I'm going to use them on my eyes, on my face, like for my contour, for some definition on my neck. It's going to be crazy. I'm just going to start off with just a normal base color on my eyelid. I'm going to be using this color in my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette like always. I'm just going to take a brush and put that all over. All right, the very first color I am putting on my base of green is just gonna be, I'm gonna use this color. So it's just like a normal, like Kelly green, just an average green. I'm just gonna go in with that same brush I just used to get it on my lid because it doesn't matter how nice this is, it's gonna be really sloppy. So like I said, I'm gonna get that green all over my brush. Like I said in my last makeup tutorial, this is a concealer brush. I use it because it gets all over my lid. This is what I'm gonna do. Just put it on my lid. As I started this video, I remembered that the past few times that I've practiced this makeup, I've always done my foundation after my eyeshadow because these cheap eyeshadows have horrible fallout and you can already tell. It's all over my face. So I'm gonna have to go back and fix that later. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm just really messily, crappily putting this on my eyelid. Now I'm going to take a blending brush with the same color and get it in my creases, just blend it really well. Now that I have that there, I'm going to go in with a darker green. That's more of like a shimmery, foresty green. Ooh, pretty. And I'm just going to put that in the crease. As I go on, I'm going to be making the crease darker and then the corner of my eyelid a brighter green. So, you know, like a gradient effect. Okay, don't mind this fallout, but now that I have my dark green in the crease and my base shade in the middle, now I'm gonna go back and apply a really bright lime green in the corners and then blend everything out and then I'm pretty much done with my eyes. Well, I finished putting the lime green in on the corners. As you can see, they're pretty bright. Um, but I don't like how not dark my creases are, so I'm gonna go back with an even darker green and fix that crap. So that is my eyeshadow for now. Like I said, it's really, really simple. Just like three different greens, a darker one, a medium colored green, like your normal green, and then a brighter one. I'll be back, I'm gonna go fix this fallout. Now for the fun part. Now I'm gonna contour my entire face in green. Great. To do this, I just use like 17 different green eyeshadows, a contour brush, and then I just keep going until I like it. It's really nothing special. I'm gonna start with this big palette 
And I'm gonna dip my brush into these colors. Well, I use both of these on my eyes. And then I'm just gonna contour my cheek like you would with a normal contour color. Okay, here we go. Once I like how it looks on this side, I'm just gonna go to the next side. Do the same thing. And now I'm gonna make spots on my forehead here, and then up into, like from my temple, up into here, I'll just show you. These are all gonna be spots where I go and put scales on my face later. And then I also go in with those same colors and I'm gonna take it down my jaw and down my neck right here. And now I look like a green scary monster. So for now there's just gonna be green all over my face. I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit Palette thingy. And you'll never guess, but I'm gonna take Lucky Clover. It's the green highlighter in the palette. And I'm gonna put a lot. I gotta be really shiny. Now the fun part, now I'm gonna put this fishnet on my head and I'm gonna make scales. This is where I'm gonna use blues and purples and darker greens, uh, but I literally had to put this thing over my head, so. All right guys, so here I am with my fishnet on. Um, so this, as you can see, is like the shape of scales. Um, so I'm just gonna go in those spots where I have my green, so on my contour and in this spot on my forehead and this spot on my forehead. I'm gonna go in with purples and blues and this big brush and dab it on and make scales. <laughs> I look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> so literally, I dipped into a blue, a purple, a dark green, and a light green. I'm gonna take it right here. You have to hold the fishnet really tight so it doesn't move and you get definite spots and dab it on. And then on each spot while I'm here, sorry, I can't let go of this to talk to you, but I'm going to take this NYX Roll-On Shimmer and roll over the scales so they shine really good. Oh, shiny scale. Yeah. And now I'm going to do the same thing in the other three spots on my face and then on my neck. So as you can see, my glitter made like scales. They're kind of sloppy. I think I moved the fishnet a lot while I was doing it. Now I am going to go in just with a green eyeshadow and do under my eyes. So let me do that real quick. So I do have false lashes. I'm not very good at putting them on yet, so I'm not going to put them on for you guys because that's just embarrassing. I'll show you what I have though. I got them from Walmart in the Halloween aisle. They're called Frightening Lashes. They're the pixie dust style. There's glitter on the ends and they're pretty crazy. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to put some mascara on real quick. I keep laughing because Sam just tweeted she thinks she smells like ramen because that's what she had for dinner. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I get Sam and Jesse and Liz's tweet notifications sent to my phone, so I always know when they tweet. Wow, perfect. Be right back, gonna go fill in my eyebrows really quick. 
Okay, now that my eyebrows are done, and my eyes are done, and my face is done, now's the time for the best part. The lipstick. This one looks so good with it. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Madison. It is so pretty. Now before I did my mascara and my eyebrows, I put on some chapstick because liquid lipstick is very drying, so I like to put on chapstick underneath it and let it soak in for a minute before I put it on, just so my lips aren't freaking chapped all night long. It takes a while because I'm really messy and bad at putting lipstick on. No, 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 I should. Or you could do like the pink part. Samantha, that is smart. Yeah, I know. <laughs> She's coming anyway. Okay guys, now that I have my lipstick on, this is the finished makeup look. Like I said, I do have my fake lashes that I'm gonna wear on Halloween. I'm just really bad at putting them on, so I'm still practicing. But yeah, this is my mermaid look. Let me go get part of my costume. I finally finished it. Not this past Sunday, but the Sunday before, I spent four hours making a mermaid bra by hand. I bought a nude bra from Walmart. Then I went to Hobby Lobby, which is a craft store, and I bought seashells, rhinestones, pearls and some like fish netting type stuff. Um, I haven't put the net on it yet, but I glued each and every single thing individually by hand on this bra and it is insane. So let me go get it for you guys. Look at my mermaid bra. Isn't it so pretty? I spent so long doing it. Look at these pretty seashells and starfishes and rhinestones and pearls. Let me just tell you, this is so heavy. But I'm gonna wear this bra, obviously. Oh, fucking A, a rhinestone just fell off. Oh, nutsack. Whatever Halloween parties go I'm going to, I'm gonna wear the bra. I don't know what I'm wearing for pants yet. I think I might just wear like black spandex shorts and maybe go to like Walmart or a fabric store and get some shiny bluish green turquoise fabric and tie it around my waist like a little skirt type thing because obviously I can't wear a tail. I can't walk in a tail. I wish I could, but I can't. I don't know what I'm gonna do for that yet, but I'll figure it out. But this is my finished mermaid look. If you guys enjoyed watching this, please give this video a big thumb up. This takes forever. It's a pain in the butt to get it all blended out. So if you wanna see more makeup tutorials, subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday. They'll either be about makeup or music. Who knows? We'll figure it out when the time comes. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.